Hey there, I'm Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my lessons with you by making videos. So this is the next video in the series of UiPath form. Let me give you a quick overview of what we'll be seeing in this video. So in this video, we'll use the tab feature, or you can say tab component of UiPath form and create two, two different sections in the form. So without any delay, let's get started. Now to use the form, you need to install a package uipart.form activities you can do that by going to manage packages all packages and you can type over here and install i have already done that now we are going to use create form so this is the option we get create form for let me name this as form titles and give it as using tab in ui path form so this is the title i'm giving please select this option and always keep a notepad file open with you so if you want to access the form data filled by the user outside the form and maybe write into an excel file or display using the message box you can you will require a notepad file now open form designer so we'll create two sections. One will be the personal details and the other one will be the company details. So let the form designer open. Okay. So if you go in layout, you have an option tabs over here. So this is tab one and tab two. Here we'll keep the label as personal details. And the other one we are going to keep it as company details and the field key is the times keep this with you you might require it further display and let's change it to okay so you can see the key is automatically changed to personal details so we need these two tabs so as you can see we have created two different sections now in personal details we'll keep three fields one is going to be name and we want this particular field to be always filled by the user so we'll select required and you can see we have a red asterisk over here and the field key of name see copy paste it over here now the second one which we need is going to be an email id so the field key of email validation change it to require save now the next one which we need is the phone number field key of save and let's paste it away so i think these are enough three fields for personal details now in company name we'll again drag a text field and we'll name it as company name validation required field key copy this field key and paste it away okay i forgot to save it no problem company name validation required field key copy save so we have company name then we can keep it as we can drag address if we have over here if not we'll use a text area password select boxes no I don't think we have a type component called address. So let's drag this. Okay. Validation required field key copy and paste it over here. Now we have company name, address, and 
I think that's it for the company as well. So we need only two sections in the company, which is company name and the address. And in personal details, we have three. And we have a submit button over here. So let's click on, let's check the submit button. Field key, submit. And company details also. We have only one. Say okay, so we forgot to keep phone number as required field. Let's check over here. I think that's it. We can also preview the form and change the themes if required. So let's skip this thing. I think this theme is fine. Close, close, and save. So as you can see, we have created two different sections. So now you can use according to the application you are using UiPath forms for. So that's depend upon your application. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to take a message box. Over here and we are going to display all the details which we created before that. To access the variable, you need to go to this particular option, form fields collection. Now we are, you need to copy this each of the field. Copy, paste it over here. This is going to be out since we are taking value from the form to the outside workflow. And you need to create a variable and it should be the same as the argument name. Now same goes for email. Copy email. Okay, one second. Paste it over here. Create a variable. Paste it over. Here. So this is the reason why I told you we need to keep a notepad file with us whenever we are working on UI platforms. Variable. Similarly, for this one, the company name, copy, paste it over here, change it to out, control K, paste it over here. Now the address, copy, paste it over here, out, create a variable, and so we have created all the output field collection now in the message box here in the text section first what we have is name space plus we are going to display the name variable plus environment dot new line now again plus and next we have is email id plus uh, so basically this environment for new line is to display your data on a next line in the message box plus and we have the phone number i suppose okay now the phone number environment dot new line plus so let's skip one part over here now company details okay no not required company name so i was thinking like we can keep a header but i think that's not required since we are keeping the placeholder kind of right company name plus and woman dot new line plus and the last one which we have is address colon and that's it okay save so we are now good to go we have created the form fields whichever are required we have created the arguments and variables and the message boxes so now cl on click of submit we should see this message box with all the details let me save and run it
So now we have the form over here. Park Doshi, P R T H D O S Chai one eight zero. Now we go to company details. So as you can see, even I am in this tab, I haven't filled the details of this particular tab. So the submit button is disabled. Now company name, let me put it as XYZ address Mumbai. So now as you can see, I have the submit button enabled. So now I can click on submit. Let me click on submit. Now in the message box, so as you can see, we have all the details. Now you can build a data table and put this details in an Excel file or a CSV file, whatever is required for your application. And you can do that easily. Okay, so now let's just do a quick recap of what we did in this tutorial. So basically in this tutorial, we used UiPath forms. Using UiPath forms, we used a feature tabs wherein you can create different sections in your form where you required different details to be inserted. Now also the thing can be done is you can read an Excel file, take the row from there and pass it into the form. I will try to make a video on that. So what in that we will do is we'll have an Excel file by which we'll take the data and fill in the form and see what we can do. I will think of some application and come up with the next video on that. So in this video, we just used the tab, created the sections in the UI path form and displayed the data in the message box. Thank you for watching the complete video. Please do subscribe to my channel. If you haven't yet, I will be soon coming up with many videos on different technologies and more specifically on UiPath. Don't forget to press the bell icon and stay updated to the new videos I upload. Thank you.